Give him some time, and then uh, Carlon Cherotti will realize that he's not a number nine, and then Vinny is gonna <laughs> drip to the bench. Wow, wow, wow. Hold up. How? How? Yes, my people, it's football tennis with Yanni Jules and DSK. Ah. We're rating the best summer signing. Right. Yeah. Are we ready? I'm very excited for this. I specifically said I want to do this one. Do you want to start then? Right, where are the Liverpool players? Oh. Oh. See that guy. Oh, surely we've got to start it off with a banger. Julian Alvarez. Go on. To Atleti, success guaranteed. That's probably the only thing you've ever said that's correct. Do you reckon? Wow. I think oh. he will absolutely cook. Julian Alvarez to success guaranteed. What do you guys think of that? I think the league's too easy for him. It's the best league in the world, but yeah. Set up. <laughs> They've bought him for so much money. He's going to start so many games. He can play in the 10 or he can play up front. Well, Atleti have always had successful strikers, really. You know, you've got That's the likes of Fernando one. Torres, Aguero. You know what I mean? I feel like as a striker in Atleti, you can go you're score succeed. goals. Exactly. Yeah, Morata looked good. Yeah. But the key on Joe Felix, though. Yeah, yeah but Joe Felix is not, not really good. an out and out striker, is he? Mm. Not a striker. Is, what is Joe Felix? So jo I'm going to go. Julian <laughs> <laughs> no. Alvarez is a striker. Though. Like, Come just on. a striker. He is a I striker. I think he can be more than a striker. Then Joe Felix as well. No, no. But no I, think, I think he'll fit in the t into the team perfectly. And they'll build, you know, they'll focus on Julian Alvarez being the main man. And that's what he needs as well for his growth as a player. I can't say more else. Julian Alvarez is sick, mate. Argentina World Cup, Man City, and he's a nine. He is a nine. There is no two ways about it. He spent all of his time in South America being the best player in South America as a nine for River Plate. He comes into Man City. He's a nine, regardless of the fact that Pep plays him in other positions because they got Haaland. Don't care. For Argentina, he plays nine. Julian Alvarez, success guaranteed. David. Solanke. Solanke. Talk Ooh. to me about Solanke. Success guaranteed, bro. Really? really? Guaranteed. I went to the Tottenham game against the... Uh, what's his club again? Sheffield? Bournemouth. Bournemouth, well, yeah. Tottenham, Bournemouth. Yeah. And I was looking at him, and the way he was playing against Spurs, I was like, he should be on the other team. Because honestly, the, the, his style of play and the way he's like, you know, he's a cheeky, a cheeky player yeah, like this. Strong. Strong, on the ball. He likes to go for the penalty, likes to go for the strike, likes to go for the cheeky pass as well. And I think that's what uh, Spurs is lacking. Honestly, Dominic Solanke, top four best players in the Premier League. Star I, like, I like Solanke, top oh, four. I'm not going to lie. I you like know, him. Give me top four. Top four. Yeah. you got Haaland, okay. Isak. Then Isak. You've got, come on. Yeah, Isak's up there. Then you've got Oli Watkins. Yeah. Watkins? Mate, Jamie Vardy, <laughs> Darwin Nunes. Anyways, anyways, anyways. With with Solanke, I feel like he's one of them like, one season wonder guys because How? Be, he's been consistent. No, he has, he has, last year, yes. Oh, no, no. But year before that, he wasn't. What does Solanke do well? He holds the ball up really well. He's very strong. Do you know he's top of all the pressing metrics as well? And he's top for most shots per game. He's the best. Okay, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. No, it matters to Spurs, not to you. We don't care about you, we care about Spurs. He's only won one, one game, and you can see how many misses he's, he's Well, Well-rounded striker, and should I tell you what? The problem in the Premier League at the moment is it's hard to find a striker. Mm. To be really honest, which strikers have we got out there? Oh, Even for the France national team, huh? I can't believe the, we're playing. Oh, Mateta's better than him, bro. The striker. Mateta's better than him. Mateta's better than Solanke, 100%. Do you know how, bad, you know how bad Mateta's been? Jordan Ayew might be better than him. <laughs> 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 well, anyways, Aaron Wambasaka, I think he will do okay, you know. Wambasaka is probably the best right back one on one defending. I don't know. A lot of people have been saying that, but I don't see it. You don't, I, I don't see, see it. it. His tackling like, is so good. You don't time, see it. You, I don't see it because every time the spotlights are on him, he just goes. Yeah, but that's at United. Do you mean like just, in yeah. the Champions League when he locked up Neymar and them? That was like literally in yeah, 20, yeah, 2019. One game. Like, the people remember one game. Like, or 2018. One or two games. Sorry, who's better than Wambasaka 1v1 defending? Trent. <laughs> no, not Trent. <laughs> not Trent. Not Trent. Shout out to Trent, though. But, but this is the thing. Like, okay, he could be the best 1v1 uh, defender, but there's more to the game than just being a 1v1 defender. And that's why he's going to do just okay. There you go. Yanni. Ooh, I like Pedro Neto, guys. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm going to say he'll do just okay. But what a player. But he's mm, injury prone. Loves an injury. Yeah. But what a player. He got that dog in him. 1v1. He squares his full back up and he just wants to eat him alive. Where does he play? Where does, is that, is on the left. Like Who's on their left? It's Mudrik. Mudrik, yeah. Exactly. On the left? Right. And so Pedro Neto has been brought in for 65 million just now to play on the left. He's been given the seven shirt. It is what it is. I feel like he's pretty much solidified. I just don't know. I don't see it, man. With whatever's going on at Chelsea, I just don't see it working. Why not? Maresca is cooking. <laughs> the players. What's he cooking? He's cooking a smaller squad. You know, he has 42 players. He said, Me, I'm working with 21. He dropped Sterling and Ben Shilwell. So it means that he's seen Chelsea play last year. Because those two players, 
Yeah, it was a bit much. It was a bit much. So I'm telling you, my rest guy is on goal. He's on There's mission. no way he watched Chelsea play and still play Madrid. <laughs> Connor Gallagher. Ooh. <laughs> Where? And you know what? I might not rate him as much as other people. I'm yeah. going to put him in success guaranteed. Guaranteed? Because I think at Atletico Madrid, the way, the style of football he plays and the system they play, just it's just the perfect thing. This man will be up in your grill, will be, you know, giving it there, little actually, one of these. He so needs that. He's, he's an engine. He'll be running he's left, one right. Of the, best. the problem Atletico is that he's going to go to a team that's literally just dogs in the midfield. That's so literally that, all he does. That's literally what At he does. At least he doesn't yeah. have to press on his own. He's got everyone yeah. with him. Who is he going to have with him? He's going to have the Paul? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm telling you, players that go to Fletcher Madrid kill their okay. careers. I think Simeone is going to put him in there and he's just going to love it. Part of the bus. There you go. Well, yeah. That's, that's what Conor Gallagher does, isn't he's it? He's such an Atletico Madrid profile for real. Go on, David. I'm going to go with uh, Lignoro. Ha! Did you watch him last year? Yeah, so I have to be honest with Lenny Euro, huh? He will do just okay. He will do just okay. I don't want to say that he can't see it working because he has the potential, but I think the expectations of a United fan is like with uh, the Martial, with uh, all the, the Chicharito, they're like, oh, he's the new young player, he's the new superstar. Do you think he can handle the pressure? Mm, he, can, he can handle the pressure, but he's, uh, the level that he has is going to bring him like, Drop uh, like I can say, go through the ceiling. What I don't think so. Because last year, when he played against Lyon, he got exposed. When he played against Marseille, Ooh. he got exposed. Because he's still getting there. I want him to get there, but I think that United just okay. It's so rare that 18 year old centre backs. Yeah. You need that experience the most on the That's pitch. That's the thing. You know? yeah. It's like how many 18 year old centre backs are good? They tend to start getting good when they're like 22, 23. Are they going to wait for him to be 22, 23 to become good? Right, listen, I mean, maybe it'll injury, be good right uh, now, innit? With an injury you got, uh, we never know. I like Delict, you know? 100%. I'm not going to lie. I I like Delict. I actually feel to put Delict in success guaranteed, 100%, you know. 100%. He is I built. I really like Delict. Delict is built for the Premier League. He's back working with Pops now. He's back with his dada. You get me? You obviously couldn't hack it over in Bayern with Tuchel in there, man, because Tommy T does not rate him at all. I think he's made of some stern stuff. I just need him to stay healthy. Success guaranteed, Delict. Mate, experience. Played under Ten Hag. He will lead that back four as well with uh, Euro if he's uh, when he's fit. He's strong, and that's why he'll he'll be success. Just because of his strength, nice. Well, I just said a bunch of things, but you just decided to keep it out of your mouth. Oh yeah, Thank experience, you. ten hard, yeah, good boy. It's like Harry Kane team talk, mate. Goals, assists. Uh, enough for you, all right? Calafuri, man. Arsenal signed this man off of one month of half decent football. <laughs> like a lot of a lot of players. Have he is to gonna it's a failure guaranteed. One wow. failure guaranteed. guaranteed, bro. You're saying it's just a PR signing. You think if he's, he didn't have hair, hair like that, one hundred percent. If he didn't have that hair, he wouldn't have signed for it's Arsenal. It's a David Beckham to PSG signing. One hundred percent. I hear that. One hundred percent. I hear Let's that. Let's be honest though. He's so stiff. He had half a decent, half a decent. Mm. Euros with Italy, which they crashed out in what round of 16s, mm. and Arsenal. Mikel Arteta said, "You know what? Mm, let's sign him because all the media are saying, oh, yo, Calafuri's got the classic headband.' But bear. Bologna yeah, last year, what did they finish? I couldn't tell you what they finished. Champions League qualification, probably because of Calafuri. I don't care. <laughs> Champions League, mate. Doesn't matter. Champions League. It doesn't matter. I think man. failure guaranteed is a bit too much. I reckon he'll do just okay. I like failure guaranteed. I don't think. I don't think he can handle the speed of the Premier League. Oh, oh okay. here we go. Here yeah, we go. That's a point that I can hear. I'm hearing he might play left back as well. Salah would cook him. <laughs> hey, if if Trent is starting for Liverpool, then Calafuri can start. Trent's the best right back in the world. Move on. Let me have one of my favourite players in world football right now. Olise. Correct, Ali. Uh, very correct. Michael Elise. Success guaranteed. This guy, the right wing spot at Bayern is just his. As long as he stays healthy, which he hasn't really proven he can, which is a bit of a problem. Michael Elise, success guaranteed. What about Kinsley Coman? No, he's leaving. Where is he going? Oh, yeah, he is, he is. For real? Yeah, man. Right wingers that are being successful, what they all got in common? They cut in on the left. Cole Palmer, Saka. Elise, them man. I'm it sorry. is what it is. Cole Palmer's not a winger. But let's move on. Mm. I think Elise is a great player. To be honest, I think he's got a Premier League overhype. But Ooh. I think I think I think he will cook it by Munich. But do you know what? It, if, yeah, he's, he's French healthy. though, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah. thing is like I don't understand how we managed to put Dembele over him. Like I don't I yeah. don't get it. Oh my god, Elise is like three times the player Dembele is. Today. I, I watched him play I played at the Olympics and what is this guy doing at the Olympics? Like why are you not why are you wanted at the Euros? Why are you wanna even at the World Cup? You know, I'm taking you every day. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm taking them. But taking he couldn't them. win the Olympics. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to keep it nice, short and simple. This man has already failed at this club. He's rejoined them to fail again. 
Shao Felix, failure guarantee. Yo, yo, oh, yo failure guarantee. guarantee. What's the point? He he's he was at Chelsea. What did he do? He was good. He was, he was the best player at Chelsea at that time. He was good at Chelsea, but he was good at Chelsea, but he wasn't amazing at Barca. Jao Felix, Tesco value Messi. Come on. <laughs> Let, let's, no, this mate, is what it is. This is what it is. Do you know what it is? Yeah, he's not an athlete at all. He is silky. Um, can unlock the game, but decision making's crazy because mm. if you're a liability, which Jao Felix is. He's a liability defensively just because of his stature. He's a small guy. He's basically useless. His decision making. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> there you go. Crazy take. He's Crazy slight, take. Jao Felix's decision making gets it right about 70% of the time. Messi gets it right 99% of the time. You just you can't have Jao Felix like that. Is Jao going to fail because of him or because of the club? Both. 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 Uh, that club is shambles at the, at the no, minute, anyway. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, wait, no that no. club is shambles. And then what has he actually done that's, that's prompted Chelsea to kind of sign him? Because what, he did a great six months. It's literally just that he's silky. He was a good six months. They don't, don't need him. They need a clinical enough, enough. He's not a clinical That's finisher. That's what they need. Because look, Sterling. Yeah, it's, I'm so, I love Sterling, but it's terrible now. Mudrik, come on now. <laughs> Felix is bringing a threat. Felix is bringing something. He's bringing that, like you said, the silkiness, something like that. I think it's going to be a success in my eyes. Ah, that club's too much of a mess. Yeah, too like much he much needs much. somewhere where he can That's just... Get his confidence back. And Mareska Kukin. Mareska Kukin. Shall I, shall I, you guys want me I know exactly what you're doing, yeah, yeah, you little freak. I'm going to go with Endrick. I can't see it working. I was oh. about to say. What, what, at all? The same way Odegaard didn't what? work. I don't know. Maybe I haven't seen enough of him. I, 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 my concern is that he doesn't get the opportunity yet. And without that opportunity, he's going to just like be sat there and then what? he's not uh, gonna get started hey, hey, and sorry, he needs that sorry so you got the four attackers rodrigo mbappe bellingham and my man Vinny. okay and then who after that uh valverde who's next off the bench in the attackers in the attackers rotation we got brahim so it's brahim yeah okay yeah, yeah, brahim. so you got brahim um, Arda Gula. yeah Arda Gula. Arda Gula. and then he but that's what i'm but saying Hendrix a nine guys what my concern is that he's gonna be sat for so long that he, when he comes and actually gets an opportunity, he's not going to cook. Okay, he done. I just want to know what what is the hype about Endrick? Huh? We have not seen anything from him. No, we have not we seen have. anything Mate. from him. We've seen him score two goals for Brazil, and now everyone. No, 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 no. You have seen him score two goals. Have you have you actually seen him playing? In he's he was the main man. At sixteen, the main man for Palmeiras. Like I could be my nan could be the main man for Palmeiras. He got a trophy for Palmeiras. Oh, oh, wow. Joke, man. Danny Olmo, and I'm going to put him, and he'll do just okay. Okay. Just oh, okay. I hope so. Yeah, you know what? Like, Is obviously, he play? Look, if they register he's, in he's, time. Yeah, well, he's had a great Euros, and he's stepped up, but. What does that front four look like for Barca? Is Danny Olmo in the 10? I, don't I just don't trust Barca using him well right How now. How should they use him? Just putting him on the pitch, mate. Let's start. <laughs> nah, come on, answer the question, man. I think number Cam. 10, Cam. Cam, yeah. That's what he did at Spain. Well, he I can play on the wing as well and cut in. What, over Laminia Mal, yeah? Yeah, don't obviously go, not, blood. Yeah. Okay, so ten dog, which means Rafinha gets pushed out. Yeah, that's yeah, that's perfect. Mm. You know, I think this Euros is like. I thought he was the best player of the Euros. Yeah, he was yeah. the best player, but I feel like it's one of those tor tournament things. And then once he starts playing with Barca, he'll do well, but he's not gonna but surprise. Yeah, us. you know what I'm saying. Like I don't know. he's not gonna scare teams on a week by week basis with grand stature. I don't even think he can. We'll see though. But I, I, I right now, I just I don't know. Mbappe. Success guaranteed. Ah, Success guaranteed. That was yeah. a joke like, watching them. Just give him, give him some time. And then uh, Carlo Ancelotti will realize that he's not a number nine. And then Vinny is going to drip to the bench just a little bit. But, uh, hold Mbappe, Mbappe is going to okay, become okay, the wait, wait, main okay. left wing okay, that is silly. of Real Madrid. That's silly. The best player for Real Madrid, Vinny? Vinny Jr. No, he's saying on the bench. The best player, Vinny Jr. is going to, if anything, Rodrigo's going to get dropped to the bench. Listen. And Vinny will go on the right. Like, that take was ridiculous. Why would you put the best player on the bench? Listen, all I'm saying is that what's going to happen is that Vinny is going to be out. Mbappe is going to okay, be left again, wing. He's going to be Mbappe. the best left wing of Barcelona. Why? But of Barcelona. Of, nice. of, of, of Real Madrid. Today. Of Real Madrid. It's going to be the left, best left wing of Real Madrid because simply Mbappe is going to be better than Vinny. Mbappe got more... Uh, okay, so you're telling me the next Ballon d'Or winner is going to be on the bench? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, okay. Not a whole wait, wait. season, but... Okay. Sorry, listen, sorry, listen. Sorry, sorry. Let's why make are we benching Vinny? Why would why, why Vinny ever get benched? Yeah, it's so yeah, dumb. Make... When Fernando Torres signed, yeah, to Chelsea, Drogba's Chelsea, what happened Ooh, to Drogba? Dreadful. What happened to Drogba? Right. Drogba was sat on the bench. Now, listen. Mbappe in number nine doesn't work. So what Ancelotti has to do, even him said it. 
he's gonna have to make a choice. Mbappe is gonna make a choice. It's gonna be a success guaranteed. It's like that. It's the law. Yeah, of he is gonna be. You have two best, two have two best best players in the world. Mbappe is gonna be success guaranteed. Is there a way that Mbappe doesn't work at Real Madrid? I don't feel nine. like there is. If he plays number nine, it ain't gonna work. No. If Mbappe he plays nine, he scored go. 40 goals, had 10 assists last year. It don't matter where he is on the pitch, mm, mm, mm. he's banging goals. No, no, they're no. playing like the Harlem Globetrotters and they're fluid as well, by the way. Mm, 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 mm. It's not like Pep Guardiola hugging the touchline winger. Like These men are just roaming wherever they want. Real Madrid, they like to roam wherever they want, but if you realise, they like roaming on the left only. On Rodrigo the, comes to the left. That's fine. Mbappe goes down, That's goes fine. to the left, and Vidi is on the left. That's so fine. So now Ancelotti seeing that, is like, you know what? Nah, you're not a nine, bro. I'm going to have to be have you on the wing. And with the amount of money as well that they've given him and all that, and the PR and everything. So who do you play in the nine? Uh, Hendrik. Right then. <laughs> this is getting silly, isn't it? Hendrik. One change each, no reason. Go. Ah! Meh! Oh, just because, yeah, my mate's dad watches Bournemouth season ticket and he said Solanke. I had no reason, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Conor Gallagher can't see it working. Ooh, what? Okay. okay. Jules. Uh, I'm going to go Calafiori. He'll do just okay. Yeah. All right. Um, honestly, I'm going to take Alvarez. I can't see it working, man. Mm. Alvarez, I can't see it working. No rate in Atletico Madrid, man. What is going on? Nah, I can't see it working. For the last one, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Endrick, failure guaranteed. Love.